Welcome and thanks for watching. While driving through Europe with the camper van, visiting the Pyrenees was on the top of our list. This mountain range contains a wide variety of different landscapes, from snowy mountaintops to gorgeous lakes and rivers. Little did we know that we were about to discover the land before time. In this episode, we'll show you our top five landscapes of this mystical place. Welcome to Ocean Rodis, and welcome to the Pyrenees Adventure. We start off with the green mountains that we encountered when entering the Pyrenees. We're just standing at the base here and already seeing these massive mountains upstairs, which looks really, really nice. Lots of waters too and we're very excited to go on this journey. There's a lot of rain and mist at the moment, so uh, I wonder what things are like at the top. But let's see how far we can make it. There's a very cool route that goes through the mountains, some parts in France, some parts in Spain, but I don't care which country we're at, as long as it's gonna be super awesome and beautiful. <laughs> Just entering the valley of the Pyrenees and already this area is insanely beautiful it's super green there's a lot of farming going around here it's really really nice and uh, you can start seeing the mountains getting bigger and bigger and right now all these clouds going over the mountains in such a beautiful way it gives a bit of an airy feeling it's really really nice and we found this little cheese shop so <laughs> we're gonna check it out and uh, maybe stock up for the road ahead we made it to the first base of the Pyrenees, the small city of Estout. Looks very cute, <laughs> very nice. Now walking next to a very old fort, which is built into the mountain. It's right next to the city of Estout. And uh, we're gonna see if we can climb up. Looks close, but let's see what we find. The Fort de Portelais, finished building in 1870 destined to guard the border of the Pyrenees. Now merely a remnant of a different time. Next are the gorgeous lakes. Alright, and uh, we're now walking in between the mountains of the Pyrenees. We uh, drove through this beautiful dam, which was really nice. And then we drove a little bit upwards, which <laughs> is always a bit scary on these little tiny roads with a big camper. But uh, yeah, we made it a little bit up and now we're gonna walk this path to find a nice viewpoint to enjoy the final moments of today. Oh, wow guys, standing here with the sun setting down behind the snowy mountain, it's definitely a special sight indeed. If you ever cannot decide either to go to France or Spain, go to the Pyrenees because you'll have a bit of both and you won't be disappointed. Driving here through the Pyrenees, 
don't know what to say because every location is even more beautiful than the next. So let's keep it going. When reaching new heights, we witness the snowy mountain tops. Today we're not at the ocean, but we are standing over an ocean of fog up here on the mountains of the Pyrenees. Woo! <laughs> We had to drive through a lot of fog to get here, up this little mountain, to the top. I say little because of the, the other mountains are huge in comparison. We're all standing on the shoulders of giants, so that's how it goes. Okay guys, sitting here at the top of the Pyrenees. Just want to say a little token of appreciation. Thank you guys for following along on the adventure. I hope I see you guys out here someday. <laughs> because traveling alone ain't half as much fun as traveling together. having a blast here in the Pyrenees. I really love the diversity of the landscape. Right now we have grass and trees and then we have rocky mountains and then over there we have icy mountains. So that's really really beautiful. It's this beautiful river going right here through the valley. This is really lovely as well. On number two we have the rivers and waterfalls. It's called the Valley of Ardessa. And we're surrounded by these really big mountains, which makes us feel a little small <laughs> in comparison. We're very excited. It's the end of the day now to do a little hike. So let's walk this road and let's see some beautiful sights before the sun goes down. Making our way to the final waterfall of the trip. Sun's almost down, but I got a feeling we're gonna make it. Okay, <laughs> you can see it. Woo. Made it to the waterfall. Wow, it's one of the biggest and most incredible waterfalls I've ever seen. You can find it right here in the Valle de Ordesa in Spain. So. Please check it out, it's amazing! Alright guys, we made it back to the camper. Wow, what a fantastic end of the day. That was really, really nice. Super beautiful hike. And we saw the most amazing waterfall. So now it's time for a well-deserved beer. <laughs> And we'll see you tomorrow. And after a lovely drive, we reached our final destination. The Great Valleys of the Pyrenees. And now we're doing the final hike, the final trail of the Pyrenees. We are in this very beautiful area. Yesterday we were in the Valle de Odessa. Today we are in the Valle de Buja Ruelo. And I'm very sorry for my pronunciation there. Oh. Best thing may be that uh, this place has the precious water all around you. So let's go for a drink. Reminds me of the little kids movie 
you know, the one with the dinosaur who was trying to find his parents through this beautiful land. I forgot the name of the movie, but I saw it a hundred times as a kid and uh, certainly gives me a bit of a nostalgic feeling right now. Walking up the mountain with all this equipment, certainly a lot harder, but I know the view is going to make it worth it. So let's keep it going. Almost there, just a few more steps. Thank you guys, and we'll see you on the road.